and decision makers from around the world solve complex problems, one step at a time and by working together. We have on one side, governments with national agendas, priorities and challenges like a pandemic, climate change, natural disasters, as well as a litany of international agreements and sustainable development goals to meet. We have on the other side, a scientific community of experts in all of these topics, working hard from the lab or the field, generating knowledge, publishing in journals, putting together incredibly robust technical assessments. The IEI STEP Fellowship Program offers countries from Latin America and the Caribbean a strategic way to bridge this gap, fill a need of creating homegrown science advisors, and establish more permanent mechanisms for public and private institutions to make evidence-informed decisions. STEP is part of a much needed culture shift for scientists to learn a new language and work with policymakers on a day-to-day -day basis, and for policymakers to learn about the value of and then use scientific knowledge. One step at a time, institutions from across the region are making room at the table for a scientific expert, a STEP fellow. Together with the international network that the IAI has built over decades, we can facilitate the uptake of scientific knowledge to support policies that improve human well-being. Let's hear now from some of our key partners and from some of the STEP fellows themselves. As an intergovernmental organization guided by a strong principle of international cooperation, the IAI is a natural partner for the American Association for the Advancement of Science. We are pleased to have many of our science and technology policy fellows participating in IAI's professional development program. Skills gained here will bolster their ability to leverage science and policy making both internationally as well as at home in the U.S. The opportunity to work with the IAI and have some of our fellows in the Science Diplomacy Project and the fact that we are able to collaborate and share across other organizations is fantastic. As a leading pharma organization in Argentina, in CREA, we are pleased to join efforts with IAI, building capacities to support the growing role of science in decision making and policy making. This relation with the IAI is very important to the Ministry due to its outstanding history and excellence in addressing global and regional problems, particularly in the area of climate change in Latin America. We believe this collaboration will help us advance more quickly in training new cohorts and increasing the number of young scientists interested in public policy issues, particularly issues like climate change. The Science Diplomacy Program introduces STEP Fellows to the field of science diplomacy in the context of Latin America and the Caribbean. Fellows learn to understand the intersection of science, technology, and innovation with foreign policy, international affairs, geopolitics, and global governance for sustainable development and addressing global challenges. The program exposes fellows to leading science diplomats in the region at the national, supranational, and subnational level and they engage in a group project on the topic of their choice to tackle the same question, could be on energy or health or climate or water from the perspective of multiple stakeholders and multiple countries and disciplines. At the end of the program, the fellows receive a train the trainers package to apply this learning back in their home countries and institutions. Polar regions are amongst the most rapidly changing environments on the planet today, and those changes are not restricted to the poles. Melting sea ice has the potential to recontour not just coastlines and weather patterns, but global trade routes. The suggestion of a polar silk road that would connect East Asia to Western Europe via the Arctic Ocean has economic, environmental, and social implications for not only Arctic nations like Canada, my home country, but for Latin American countries like Panama, 
Mexico, Venezuela, and Colombia. Member nations of the IAI are well positioned to adapt to such changes. Through science diplomacy as a cooperative framework, member nations can learn from each other, build capacity for scientific knowledge translation, and advance national and international interests on global environmental change issues, like ocean plastics pollution, and the impact of sea level rise on island and coastal communities. Hydrogen is a growing alternative source of energy that can significantly contribute to IAI's member states' sustainable economic development. How, you may ask, to achieve affordable clean energy and zero emission goals, the IAI region needs to diversify the technologies used for producing and storing clean energy. Hydrogen is a clean fuel that can be safely stored and efficiently converted back into energy where and when needed. For example, Mexico, my home country, can take advantage of its great solar and wind potential to produce hydrogen. Right now, this promising resource needs both national and international support for research as well as technology development and adoption. Government representatives can help the IAI region lead the future global hydrogen economy and establish this technology as a driver for regional growth in its recovery from a COVID-impacted economy. Thank you. Deforestation leads to increased greenhouse gas emissions, losses of biodiversity, and negatively impacts the livelihoods of indigenous communities. Today, commercial agriculture is the single largest driver of deforestation. This is a complex issue and requires a multifaceted approach that addresses the social, economic, and environmental impacts of deforestation. To this end, we invite the Amazon countries and the broader international community to a meeting where we can discuss strategies for the reduction of deforestation. International cooperation is key to creating solutions that are environmentally sustainable and economically feasible across the Amazon region. Vector-borne diseases such as Zika, Chikungunya, Malaria, Lyme disease and others cause chronic infections and kill more than 700,000 people around the world every year. These diseases are prevalent across the Americas and climate change is causing their behaviors and spread to change in ways that increase risks across the board and especially render North America much more vulnerable than before. We need to learn from the lessons of the COVID-19 pandemic and tackle this issue proactively. To tackle a multifaceted issue like this, we need cross-disciplinary research collaborations, health and climate data sharing infrastructure, and most of all, international cooperation. To initiate this multinational dialogue, we are convening a workshop this fall, which will bring together scientific and diplomatic stakeholders, and we invite you to join us. Water is precious. Every drop counts. Only in Latin America, 77 million people lack access to safe water. That's the combined population of Sao Paulo, Mexico City, and San Francisco. Wastewater treatment plants are an excellent choice to use and reuse water sustainably. However, their technology and knowledge is highly centralized, limiting their operation and efficiency. That's why we're asking member states' representatives to enhance the capacities of their cities, to develop their own technology solutions, and to increase the knowledge of their people. This will allow them to have better, more efficient wastewater treatment plants and to assure the supply of quality water for all their citizens. Thank you. This is an important time to establish science advice and diplomacy mechanisms in Latin America and the Caribbean. And we look forward to growing our inter-American community of practice. Be a part of the next generation of science and policy makers. 
step into our community and shape science for society.